consistency from a national perspective. And, and our guys started taking a weekly quiz, a rules quiz, uh, back in February. And they'll continue that uh, all the way up till the season starts. And next week, we have all of our officials here in Birmingham, and, and we're going to test their conditioning. Uh, they, they will be hoping for weather like we have today, but they won't get it. Uh, but we'll test their conditioning, we'll test their rules knowledge, and then we'll have three days where we'll work on our on-field mechanics uh, and our philosophy. So, you know, the goal of all of this in, in the off-season is to ensure that uh, we're ready to go on opening kickoff. It, it, when our clinic's open, we'll start working scrimmages with our teams. Uh, so, you know, rest assured, we'll be ready to go uh, on the first snap on Thursday night uh, when we kick off the season. Now, as we've discussed over the last few years, we have really, as officials, we've embraced technology. And, and, and I'm excited about that. And, and, you know, when I first came in, we kind of redid our video and our video review capabilities. Uh, we, we introduced the crew communication system two years ago. We piloted it. Last year, we had all of our crews in it. And, and we'll continue that. And, in fact, I'm excited to tell you, uh, I think the NFL is going to move to that. We've got some other conferences that are going to do that. So that's proven to be very valuable from a technology perspective. And this year, we're doing some work in our command center. We're really doing some upgrade there uh, to really enhance our, our review and evaluation capability. So, uh, so we're going to continue to use technology to help our officials get better and better. And I really appreciate Commissioner Sly, our presidents and the ADs, who continue to invest in technology to, to make our product on the field even better and better. So uh, I really do appreciate that. Now, before we dive into our 2014 rule changes, uh, I, I want to take a moment and, and kind of do a quick review of our 2013. And, and really, as we talked about last year, Probably the biggest change in, in my officiating career, so my 24 years of both on the field and as a coordinator, the targeting change that included now the disqualification was, was quite frankly, the biggest change, the most significant and most important change that we had had in my tenure as an official. Um, so, you know, what were the results of that? Well, first of all, let me say, we simply had to change player behavior for the good of the game. Um, and, and I believe we started to see this type of player behavior change that we were looking for. And, and, and we've got a little chart here, and, and, and what I want to hit on that is if you look at it, and this is tracking targeting fouls from last season, and, and what you see from this, a little subtle view, but as the season progressed, we saw less targeting activity. That's what we were looking for. That's what we felt like. As you all know, playing time is the most important commodity to a player and certainly to his coach. And that had an impact on behavior. And, and if you look at, you kind of split the season. If you look at the back half, uh, we had five targeting fouls. And, and that's a significant reduction, you know, in comparison to the first eight weeks of the season uh, where we had 14 targeting fouls. So the trend is good. This is a good trend. And, and, and we've got to stay vigilant as officials, um, as, as coaches, and as players uh, to do this. And I, and I can tell you, when, when, when I look at video, I see evidence of now players lowering the target and, and quite frankly, sometimes even pulling up uh, on an unnecessary hit so they're not at risk for a targeting foul and disqualification. So I think the rule has done exactly what we wanted it to do. We've got to stay with it. And, and I would say this to fans. I mean, I heard a lot of fans say, this, this new targeting and this qualification is going to ruin the game. Well, I, I would tell you that, that probably 2013 was one of the most exciting seasons on record. And so the, the targeting change is not ruining the game. It's making our game better. And, uh, and, and that's what we're excited about. So